What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Danny K, here back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. And in today's video, we are doing a set that we're going to call Blue Lemonade. Um, we're using Mia Secret Cover Pink, Nail by Naya's Pool Boy, and Lemon Drop. We're using iGel Beauty's Monomer, and I'm using this 12-inch um, Kalinsky brush from that I bought off of Amazon. So, without further ado, I'm not going to really talk too much, but we're going to get into this application, and I'll see you in a minute. So we're using Nail by Naya's Pool Boy, and we're going to do this ombre with Pool Boy and um, Lemon Drop and Mia Secret Cover Pink. Um, This is my first time actually doing an ombre that came out pretty damn good. You know, I'm still in my beginner stages, as I always say, so I'm learning as I go. Um, It wasn't as difficult to do ombre is that you know i'll be overthinking a lot so i'll be feeling like <laughs> everything that i'm doing is is hard and it's not technically hard i mean and one thing i learned about nails is you have to take your time a lot of times i'll be rushing i don't know why i'll be rushing but i definitely be rushing but i realize you definitely have to take your time when doing your nails but i'm gonna stop talking <laughs> Thank you. 
So as you can see why I called it blue lemonade because I decided to add these blue and yellow lemons um, that I thought was so cute and went so perfect with this set. This set just reminds me of summertime. As you can see, I am very much waiting on the summer. Like, give me a cold glass of lemonade, give me some sun and some sunglasses. I'm just ready. But I'm trying to get a little bit more creative. Most of my nail sets I do are, you know, recreations or inspos from other people. Um, but I'm trying to explain my, br my brain a little bit more. So I came to the conclusion that I'm just going to give me a little book and I'm going to start writing my nail sets that I want to do down because one thing I learned or what I noticed that I do I'll have a set in my head and then as soon as I see something else I'm like oh I'm not doing that I'm gonna do this so I feel like I want to get to all the sets that I like eat the recreations and the ones that I have in my head but I need to write them down so that way you know instead of me picking one and saying oh i'm going to do this and then if i see something else i say oh no i'm gonna do that whatever is written down in my book is what i'm going to be doing so that's my goal whatever i write down in my book i'm going to go in order as far as the sets um it is this page on instagram that i follow called bling book where they have this book where you can basically draw what designs you want um on your nails i think you can actually use polish and stuff in the book but it's it basically helps you on your nail journey when it comes to being creative you know writing down what you want to do i think it also has like uh like empty pages in the back to where so you might want to kind of write down what your goals is when you when it comes to you doing nails it's a nice little book so um my wife probably buy it for me for my birthday because I did ask for that so yeah and as you can see we are finishing off these nails with the Mia Secret cover pink y'all I'm I'm getting there with finding my angles so what I feel like I need to be doing when I record I think I need to record not so close and then when it's time for me to edit my videos, then I can zoom in so it won't look so in the camera, in the camera once I zoom in. It just be looking crazy sometimes. But again, I'm still working on my angles. I'm going to get there, y'all. If y'all have a better way for me to, you know, put my phone while I'm recording, leave it down in the comment section because I'm new to this, y'all. I'm still learning. When I was doing my makeup videos, I had to have a camera in front of my face. I ain't had to have it. You know looking down at the desk so it's a little bit it's a little bit harder to get my ankles but i'm getting there but i'm gonna shut up and i'm gonna continue, or continue to let y'all watch this application <laughs> And here we are capping these nails and I'm using Young Nails Core Clear to cap these nails. I still have more of this left, so I'm trying to finish this off. I actually had it for a little minute, but, um, you know, I wasn't really being that consistent with nails, so this is why I still got it, probably after like a year. Um, 
I don't know if nail products run, you know, get old because I don't see any expiration dates on it. So I don't know if they get old. If they do, let me know in the comment section below. Where can I look for an expiration date at? And then we here we are still in the cuticles. I cannot talk, y'all. Still in the cuticles. Basically, um, debulking the nail, getting all that stuff from underneath, filing, and all that other good stuff. I don't think I, I buffed on camera, but as you can see, I'm getting the job done. When it comes to filing, we gotta put some oomph into it when it comes to filing. But because I be doing the pop-off method, I'm telling you, a lot of times, my pinky finger and my um index finger always pop off those are the only two that pop off every time i do the pop off method and right here we're using this yellow that i got from beetles um number 337 and then i mixed it with some white to make it like to make it look like the lemon drop color make it a little bit lighter it wasn't it wasn't that dark but it wasn't as pastel -y as I wanted it to be so I um I added some white to it but again I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna let y'all finish watching <laughs> And right here we're using this is this blue it's called it's number 334 from beetles as well y'all i was using this this brush that i got from amazon as soon as i started using it it was just acting real crazy so i just was like uh-uh i can't do that so i changed to my um not polished brush but honestly i know it's a better brush out there better than not polished it was okay but I don't know it could be me because i'm actually new to doing frenches but i also felt like the brush wasn't flowing like i wanted it to but again it could have been me because i am to i am new to doing french so it definitely probably was me <laughs> for sure but again i'm learning as i go so We'll get there. I am going to get some um, new liner brushes and see. You know, again, maybe it wasn't me. Maybe it was the brush. But then again, I think it was me. Like, I tried to get my French as even as I could. But I couldn't. But, I, again, I got it as even as I could get it. Um, And, again, I felt like I did a great job, you know, being as though I had a couple hiccups. But this blue was nice too. It goes right with pool boy. Definitely went with the blue I was, uh, the blue acrylic I was using. And then when it came to the yellow French, I felt like I did just a tad bit better with the yellow. But yet and still, you know, I'm still learning. And y'all, again, I. I don't know what it is, but I cannot get, and I say this in all my videos because for me, it's a struggle. Trying to find the most comfortable way to hold my hands while I'm doing 
my application is part of the reason why I'm out of frame. Like, I feel like my fingers is so short, they're not long enough to kind of move and cross my fingers how I would want to if they were a little longer, if you understand what I'm saying. But yeah, I just don't, I don't know what it is. And I think it's because my fingers are so short, but again, I'll get there. I'll figure it out. But I'm just, you know, cleaning this up, trying to try to get this Frenchie as <laughs> as good as I could. Try my best and put on a second coat so it could be a little opaque. Even though I did make this a glitter nail as well. But, um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking. I'll be back, y'all. So as you can see, I'm starting my 3D flowers, but where I messed up at is I had put a top coat on before I did the 3D flowers and it just made the surface so slippery. Not only that, I'm still new to 3D flowers and I felt like my brush was just not pointy enough to get the look that I was going for. So you're not going to see me do these 3D flowers on camera. I'm definitely going to be doing them off camera because I got so frustrated that when I was doing them on camera, it wasn't coming out like I wanted to. I just was like, you know what, just forget it. I kept wiping it off, probably did it like 10 times. But here's the final look. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Also comment and like, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notifications for when I post more videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. All night, say it, I want all night. I wanna be all night, say it, I want all night. I am no stranger.